Dragging me in a lambda sense Face on vestibular cochlea Blossom for ring job of vagus Accessory hypoglossa Olfactory optic cochlear modern trochlea Dragging me in a lambda sense Face on vestibular cochlea Hello po, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Sana po ay nakatulong ang ating ginawang jingle to memorize the 12 cranial nerves permanently. Pero, kulang po po yan kung na-memorize lang natin. We also need to know the type and functions of the 12 cranial nerves. And that is what we are going to master this time. Let us start with the types muna. The cranial nerves are either sensory or motor or both. Ano nga ba ang sensory? Sensory refers to the nerves responsible for transmitting information from sensory receptors to the brain, enabling us to perceive and interpret various stimuli. For example, the visual input, nakakita ka ng colors or shapes with the use of your sense of sight to be transmitted to the brain. Meaning, the sense of sight or the cranial nerve 1 is an example of sensory. Next. Ano naman ang motor? Motor refers to nerves responsible for transmitting signals from the brain to muscles, glands, or organs controlling various bodily functions. Again, from the brain to the muscle, glands, or organ. For example, is yung oculomotor wherein yung function niya is the eye movement. From the brain, it transmits signal through the oculomotor nerve to move the eye. Okay? And then, lastly, we have both sensory and motor. It refers to nerves that contain both sensory and motor fibers. At ngayon, let us memorize na lahat ng types ng cranial nerves. And these are the types. And we have a mnemonic para mas madali nating ma-memorize. Hindi natin makakalimutan. Okay? Yung mnemonic natin, some say, merry money, but my brother says, big brains matter most. Okay? Again, some say merry money but my brother says big brains matter most. Yung S stands for sensory. Yung M naman is motor. And yung B is both. Okay? Uh, pwede nyo i-post tong video para memorize nyo. And then, after natin ma-memorize, let us discuss the functions of each cranial nerves. Ito ang mahalaga. Dapat alam natin. Let us start with the cranial nerve 1, the olfactory. Ang function niya is olfaction, or the sense of smell. And the common problem is anosmia. Ano yung anosmia? It is the loss of sense of smell. And then, let us go to cranial nerve 2, the optic. From the word itself, malalaman agad natin. The function is for visual acuity and pupillary reflex. Ano yung pupillary reflexor? It is an automatic response of the pupils to light. It is a crucial reflex for regulating the amount of light entering the eye. And the common problem here is hemianopsia or loss of one half of the visual field, meaning half lang ang nakikita mo. And it is either unilateral or bilateral. And of course, blindness or decreased visual acuity, yan ang mga problema. Nakakuha po ba? Yes or no? Yes. Let's move to the cranial nerve 3, oculomotor. The function of this cranial nerve 3 is for the movement of the eyelid, pupillary constriction, lumiliit, constriction, and lens accommodation. Lens accommodation meaning the ability of the eye to focus on objects at different distances. The problem here is this conjugate gaze or abnormality in the eye movements where eyes do not align or move. Also, meron tayong diplopia or yung tinatawag nating double, double vision, dilated pupil, and with or without papillary reaction to light. Next, cranial nerve 4 na tayo, trochlear. 
The function of cranial nerve 4 is to innervate the superior oblique muscle, controls downward and inward eye movement, and rotates eye downward and medially. The problem here is weakness or paralysis of superior oblique muscle. Paralysis of superior oblique muscle. Difficulty, difficulty rotating eye downward and inward. Limited downward gaze. Diplopia and strabismus. Sa limited downward gaze, hindi mo na masyadong nakikita yung bandang baba. Limited lang siya. And yung strabismus, also known as crossed eye or eyes are misaligned or deviate from normal position or yung tinatawag natin na duduling or duling. Okay, so let's go to cranial nerve 5. The function is facial sensation, corneal reflex, and mastication. Again, facial sensation, trigeminal. Try. Try mong itouch ang aking face. Yan, para di tayo, hindi natin makakalimutan. For facial sensation. Again, try. Try mong itouch ang aking face. Try geminal. For facial sensation. Also, corneal reflex or the blink reflex. Try mong itouch ang cornea mo. Magbli-blink yan. Again, try geminal. Try. Try geminal. Try mong itouch ang cornea mo. Magbli-blink yan. And lastly, for mastication or chewing. And next is cranial nerve 6, abducens. Ito na, ang paborito ng mga estudyante, ng mga estudyante pag may quiz. They are using their abducens para tingnan ang sagot ng katabi. Kasi, <laughs> the function is lateral rectus muscle control, lateral. It moves the eye outward or laterally and rotates the eye outward. The problem here are weakness or paralysis of lateral rectus muscle. Therefore, limited yung abduction niya. Meron na siyang diplopia or double vision, strabismus or naduduling, and also satropia or inward deviation. Sana hindi niyo makalimutan yan. Tandaan nyo. Abducens, lateral. Lateral movement of the eye. Okay, let's go. Cranial nerve number 7. Ang function naman nito ay for facial expression and muscle movement, salivation and tearing, taste, sensation in ear. Again, the problem here is for facial expression. Facial expression. Facial expression and muscle movement, salivation and tearing, taste and sensation in the ear. The problem is... Facial weakness, inability to completely close the eyelid and impaired taste. Nakakasunod po ba? Yes or no? Yes. Let's go to the vestibular cochlear or yung auditory, cranial nerve number 8. The function of this is for hearing and balance. And the problem of course is the decreased hearing or deafness. Di nakakarinig and impaired balance. Madali lang yan. Andali lang tandaan. And then, let's go to glossopharyngeal. Cranial nerve 9. The function of this is taste sensation from posterior tongue, sensation from the pharynx, soft palate, and eustachian tube, and also swallowing and gag reflex. Yung gag reflex dito, sensory component siya. And also, it controls salivation. The common problem here is dysphagia, or difficulty swallowing, and impaired taste. Okay, sana po, nakakasunod uh, tayo. Ayan, let's go number 10. Cranial nerve number 10, vagus. Malapit na tayo matapos. Let's go to vagus. The function is innervation of the muscles of pharynx, larynx, and soft palate. Sensation in external ear, pharynx, larynx, thoracic, and abdominal viscera. And also, parasympathetic innervation of thoracic and abdominal organs. And gag reflex, motor component naman siya. As you can see, vagus has complex function. It includes parasympathetic nervous system. Diba? Pati parasympathetic nervous system. And dito, sa parasympathetic nervous, nervous system, vavagal ang heart rate. Again, vagus, vavagal ang heart rate pag na-stimulate ang vagus nerve. Tandaan nyo yan. 
madalas sa exams. The common problem here is weak or absent gag reflex. Dysartria, hoarseness. Remember, vagus and glossopharyngeal lang ang nag affect sa gag reflex. Okay? Alright, so let's go to accessory. Cranial nerve number 11. The function of this is uh, it innervates the sternocleinomastoid and trapezius muscles. And the problem here is weakness or absent shoulder shrug. Absent of shoulder shrug and inability to turn head to the side. Kung tatanungin kayo, the nurse is assessing the patient and discovers an absent shoulder shrug. What cranial nerve is it? Ang sagot dyan is accessory. Basta shoulder shrug or inability to turn head to the side. Lastly, lastly is hypoglossal. The function of hypoglossal is for the movement of tongue. And the problem here is of course, kung yung hypoglossal is for the movement of tongue, yung magiging problema is of course, difficulty swallowing any slurred speech. Alright, we are done and thank you so much. Kung nakatulong man ang video ito sa inyo, kindly click like and subscribe para tuloy-tuloy tayo sa mga updates. Thank you po at mabuhay tayong lahat.